On the 10th of December 1541, Thomas Culpepper and Francis Deerham were executed for having affairs with Catherine Howard, the wife of Henry VIII. Welcome to History Pod. Catherine Howard entered the royal court as a lady in waiting to Anne of Cleves, Henry's fourth queen. Henry's marriage to Anne of Cleves had been arranged for diplomatic reasons but proved to be an unhappy match. Seeking companionship and a male heir, Henry's attention therefore turned to the young and vivacious Catherine, whom he married in July 1540. However, allegations of the young queen's previous romantic entanglements soon emerged. Among those accused were Culpepper and Deerham, both of whom shared, or intended to share, sexual relations with Catherine. The Queen's premarital relationships became a focal point of rumours and gossip, focusing on a complex web of romantic liaisons. Culpepper, a member of the King's Privy Chamber, and Deerham, a former secretary to the Queen, found themselves ensnared in the intrigue surrounding Catherine's past. Their fates were sealed when the King's Council, alarmed by the revelations, pursued a thorough investigation. The charges against Culpepper and Deerham were grave. They were accusations of treasonous affairs with the Queen, and it threatened the very foundation of the Tudor monarchy. In a court known for its ruthless justice, the trial of Culpepper and Deerham was swift. The evidence, combined with the political expediency of eliminating potential threats to the Crown, led to their convictions for treason on the 1st of December. Both men appealed to the King to commute their sentences to beheading, but only Culpepper was successful. Deerham was to be hanged, drawn and quartered. On the 10th of December, the two men were publicly executed at Tyburn in London. Their deaths served as a stark reminder of the perils of romantic entanglements within the volatile politics of the Tudor court. Catherine was beheaded just two months later. <laughs> 